Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. We're here today to do a 24 hour readathon hardcore edition. Chloe from Chloe Reads Books is hosting a 24 hour readathon starting tonight at midnight, obviously all the way through to tomorrow midnight. And if you know me, and I feel like now I've been doing lives a lot recently, people know that I love my sleep and that I have now been like rebranded as asleep by 10. <laughs> I like to come off the sprints at 10 o'clock so I can go to bed. So 24 hour readathons don't usually go that well for me, but because Chloe is one of my closest friends on booktube, I am going all in for this readathon and I'm going to try and stay up for the majority of the 24 hours. I wanted to start this video now so you still had daylight for the intro clip, but obviously we're starting at midnight tonight and I'm planning to be awake and this is the plan. I am going to go to bed around 7.30 tonight and wake up just before midnight because Chloe is going live at midnight. If you thought I was dedicated, Chloe is dedicated. Um, she is going live at midnight tonight until like 4 a.m. Then I'm not sure what her plan is, but then she's going live again at 10 a.m. with me, Rebecca and Rhiannon. And then we're going until like 4 p.m. and then she's having a bit of a break and then she's doing evening sprints with Molly and a couple other people in the evening. So this is gonna be a really, really fun readathon and I'm so, so excited and I feel like this is gonna be the only readathon that I properly hardcore go at because I'm not good at them, but I'm gonna give it my all for Chloe. <laughs> so I hope you appreciate this, Chloe. Um, I'm doing it all for you. So because I'm gonna go hardcore, I'm gonna try and read three books at least. I have five books on my TBR, but let's just discuss them quickly. Um, I'm actually going to try and read the Breaking series by Tracy Puckett. If you have seen books I want to reread in 2021, basically I re I read these for the first time back in 2015 when I first started getting into reading and I've looked on Goodreads and I rated them all like four or five stars and they're only like 200 to 250 pages each. So they're gonna be quick, easy reads. They're YA, romance, contemporary, like my go-to genre. So they shouldn't be too hard to get through. And recently I've been kind of in the mood to want to reread them and see what my thoughts are like six years later. So that is like the big and main plan for this readathon is to get through all three books. The first one is Breaking Rules, the second one is Breaking Walls, and the last one is Breaking Ties. So basically this trilogy follows our main character Mandy who is coming to the last year of school and she just wants to live a solitary life as a writer back in her hometown in Sugar Creek but she meets a guy called Gabe and her whole plans kind of go out of whack and that's all I can remember that's all I kind of want to know I just remember absolutely flying through the series and loving it back when I read it for the first time so I'm hoping that these are good picks for the 24 hour readathon however if my reading tastes have drastically changed in the last six years of reading and I start reading the first book, maybe I liked it but the second book isn't very good, I have two backup books. First one is my reread of I Heart New York by Lindsay Kelk. I read this as an audio book and I've started to collect the entire series as an eight book series. Um, because I want to reread them physically and tab them up because I class them as one of my favourite series because I just love it. If I don't like rereading the Breaking series then I'm gonna reread another favourite and that is I Heart New York. And then if clearly rereads aren't doing it for me this readathon, I'm going to try and conquer Illuminae by Jay Kristoff and yeah, Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman um, because this is a multimedia sci-fi book that everyone says is really, really quick to get through. So I'm not planning on finishing all five of these books. I'm gonna hopefully mainly focus on the Breaking series but if for some reason my tastes have changed in the last six years, which I'm kind of having an iffy feeling that I might have. I've got two backup books. So that's kind of the plan for this evening or for the lot next 24 hours. I am so, so excited to participate in this readathon. <laughs> I'm not sure how well I'm gonna be able to sleep at 7.30, but I do like my sleep and I do fall asleep very easily. So I'm gonna like turn my lights off, get my lamp going, shut my blinds and my blackout curtains and try and get some good sleep and then I can hopefully kick off the readathon with Chloe at midnight with her reading sprints. So that is the plan, come along with me and see exactly how much I can actually read. Hopefully I can get three books plus done but we shall see, I'll probably zonk out about midday tomorrow but you're gonna come along for the journey, let's go. <laughs> I know it looks like I'm already in my PJs, but I'm not in my PJs. Uh, so as of 10 to five, <laughs> I'm gonna prep myself and get into my PJs. So I kind of get into that mentality that I'm going to bed soon. I've shut my blind already. But I might even shut my curtains. If I shut my curtains, my room pretty much goes black because they're really thick curtains. 
I think I could sleep like this. Um, <laughs> we'll see. I uh, will see. But yeah, I'm going to try and prep my brain to as in we're sleeping soon. So I'm going to get you. quietly because obviously it's quarter to midnight because obviously my parents are getting ready for bed and I'm just woke up. <laughs> um, Chloe's live sprint is literally about to start so I woke up just in time but oh my god look Let's get to reading. I'm so excited. <laughs> still pretty awake so I'm gonna try and finish it <laughs> before I sleep my normal alarm goes off at five o'clock because I have to take tablets at a specific time every single day and that specific time is five o'clock so I have to re-wake up at five even if I fell asleep anyway so I'm hoping that I can finish the next 100 pages within the next hour and that will bring me to 3.45 and then I can sleep until 5 and then wake up as I usually would at 5 take my tablets I don't really have any thoughts on the book it's alright I have nothing it's about a girl who's living a lonely life because of past parents experiences messing her up and she's trying to keep everyone at a distance and then Gabe the love interest comes into town and she starts doubting everything and starts falling in typical YA romance that was written ages ago. <laughs> so yeah, love enjoying it, fast to get through, but nothing magical. So yeah, I'm gonna try and finish the last hundred pages and then get a little bit of rest again before I conquer the actual day. Hi guys, I don't know if I'm in focus, I can't tell, my eyes are still blurry from sleeping. Um, I didn't finish my book, I got to like, it got to like 3 o'clock in the morning, no half 3 in the morning, it got to about half 3 in the morning and um, I had about 40 pages left but I was getting really really sleepy so I was like oh, okay I'll just sleep until 5 and then 5 rolled around and I was still really tired so I went to bed until 6.30. It is, it is 6.30, so it's still early, and technically I've still only had like three hours of sleep, um, if you don't count my nap. So, yeah. I'm going to go finish the book now, before I get up and do anything, so I can say I've done one book during the night. Um, yeah, that's all I have to update on. Hopefully when I next film a clip I'm a bit more presentable. <laughs> but I go live with Chloe at 10, so hopefully I'll be... A bit more awake then, but yeah, absolutely shattered. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Love that for myself. <laughs> I'm just getting ready for the day, so I thought I would talk to you why I finished up my makeup. I literally only have mascara left because I only thought of this idea now. Um, <laughs> I have to get ready because otherwise I would just sleep for the rest of the day. I'm really, really tired. Basically, last night what happened was 
I went to bed at 7.30, but I couldn't get to sleep until about 8.30, and then I fell asleep until half 11, which was brilliant. And then Chloe went live and did sprints from midnight until about 2.30, when Molly and Chloe felt like they were going to die. <laughs> so I was still awake by then because I had napped. So I stayed up for another hour after they finished the live to try and finish my book, but I didn't quite make it. I got about 200 pages in before I fell asleep. So when I re-woke up, I went to sleep about... 3.30 and I woke up about 6.30 so I spent the next 45 minutes in bed finishing off the book and reading the last 50 pages which I did so as of 7 o'clock this morning I have finished my first book. Um, the book was alright, it was a reread for me, I read Breaking Rules which is the first book in the Breaking series by Tracy Puckett. It's not as good as I remember it being but I was going in with that expectation anyway because I read it in 2015. It was one of the first books I ever read. So obviously back then when I read it I had no kind of comp um, comparison to make. Um, and now obviously five, six years later I've read a lot more YA contemporary to compare it to and obviously it's not as good. I wasn't expecting it to be just as good as I remember. But it's still a fun quick read. It basically follows our main character Mandy who parents have been divorced, she has a twin sister, and their dad have moved them to Sugar Creek because and their mum wanted to stay behind in LA to continue writing screenwriting for like big TV shows, and the dad didn't want to anymore, so he dragged the daughters to Sugar Creek for a quieter life. So that's kind of where you start the story, and because Mandy's dad feels like she's going to turn into their mum, he doesn't want her to go to university to become a writer, so he says the only way I'm going to give you the money to go to university is if you do a degree that isn't creative writing. So Mandy's on a mission to find a scholarship from somewhere, and part of her school programme, there's a programme that's just started where you volunteer for six weeks, and at the end of it, if you are like the most achievable and you're the most committed, then you win a scholarship. And she falls, she goes into this programme, um just to get this scholarship, but then she ends up falling for the president of that kind of programme. And that's kind of where you left off. And she has rules herself about keeping people at a distance because her dad always breaks the promises and she's scared that she's gonna have to up and leave again. So she doesn't wanna bring anyone too close to her, etc., etc. But then Gabe, the president, who's only like 21 by the way, cause I was kind of wary when I first started it cause I forgot what the age gap was. It's not actually that big. Mandy's about 18 and he's 21. Um, so we're all good in that area. But yeah, she falls for Gabe and breaks all the rules that she set herself and then there's a romance, a romance in shoots, and that's kind of where the plot starts. And obviously I'm going to go into the second book this morning and hopefully to the third book as well. And then we're going to see how I feel. The characters are very two-dimensional. Um, there's not much depth or background to them. I don't know whether that's coming in book two and three. I can't remember the plot at all. So we'll have to see on that front. But they're very two-dimensional. The writing is not complex at all. It's so easy to get through. And yeah, it's all right. It's nothing fancy. It's nothing brilliant. It's just an okay read. Pretty happy that I've decided to reread them still because they are the perfect books for a readathon. So yeah, I got ready so I didn't fall back asleep. So I'm going live with Chloe at 10, where I will hopefully finish book two and start book three. And then we'll see where the day takes us. But my parents are currently making me English muffin with eggs. So I'm very, very excited for that. It'll be like McDonald's, but better. Looks like my parents are chefs. So <laughs> yeah, I will keep you posted, I guess. But that's the update so far. I am currently live with Chloe, myself. Rebecca and Rhiannon and I'm almost halfway through the second book which is exciting but I am lagging I am getting tired guys um it is half 11 I've had four cups of tea and I've had some chocolate and I'm powering through but I'm definitely feeling tired <laughs> which is fine like I will make it through the day I might just have to have like an afternoon nap but I'm enjoying the second book a little bit more. I don't know, there's more up for grabs. Um, obviously I can't really say anything because it's the second book in a series, but there's definitely more uh, competition 
and there's more at stake. That's like the phrase I was looking for. So yeah, I'm enjoying it and it's actually less pages than the first book. So I'm hoping to get this done in the next two sprints. That would be really, really good. But if not, I will have to finish it because it's a 24 hour readathon. So yeah, I thought I'd just come in and update you. Having a lovely time on the lives as per usual and getting lots of reading done. Um, I'm just tired, but that is to be expected because I didn't really have much sleep last night. <laughs> so yeah, if you see my energy dwindling, that is why. I got my lunch and I'm, I'm resorting to my bed because I am tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> but I was thinking I've had six hours sleep at Angle. I've had six hours sleep. Which for some people is absolutely fine. Um, but I don't know whether it's because it was broken into two like longer naps that I'm kind of lagging a bit. I don't know, but um, yeah, I'm hoping some food will give me more energy and getting into bed somewhere cosier hopefully doesn't send me to sleep. But if I have to have a nap, I'll have a nap. But, but I'm hoping to finish book two before I at least think about having a nap. I would like to have two books down before I sleep. <laughs> so fingers crossed. It is now almost two o'clock. I'm in the last five minutes of another sprint with Chloe and I just finished my second book, which is very, very good. That one was only just over 200 pages, like 225 pages. Um, so I finished it in three sprints, which is not too bad going. Um, I've just clicked onto the third book and it's about 300 pages. So this one should take me up until the evening at least. And then um, I'm not sure what I'll do after that, but I'm definitely obviously on track to finish at least the trilogy, which was my original aim, which is good. And then I don't know whether I will read either of these. Not sure whether I'll read any of them, either of them, one of them, two of them, who knows. But I think if Chloe goes again for another sprint, I will nap in that sprint just so I'm a little bit more awake. But who knows? I'm like, I have waves if I'm like... <laughs> Five minutes I'm like awake and I'm absolutely fine and then I'll have like 10 minutes where I'm feeling really sleepy and like yeah I should nap so I'm not really sure what I will do but obviously I'll keep you posted but yeah so far so good two books down it's only two o'clock which I don't think is too bad for not being an expert in 24 hour readathons. I'm proud of myself to say that I've done two but hopefully I can get a trilogy done and exceed my expectations so. The second book was the same rating as the first I think all of them are just going to be three stars now they're enjoyable, fun reads, nothing special. I'm enjoying reading them, I'm not hating them, I'm not loving them. They're just mediocre, but they're a quick fun read to read in a readathon. It's quite nice just going back to back and staying in the same world during a readathon and not having to be like, oh, I finished this book, but I have to go into a completely new world straight away. Like it's nice to be reading three books, but them all being with, focusing around the same character, focus, focusing around the same problems and all that sort of stuff. It's nice to have that consistency throughout the day. So I'm enjoying that and I'm glad I've picked a trilogy. I think that's a good kind of tip if you're doing like a 24 hour readathon to like kind of make sure that to stay consistent you have like the same writing style, you have the same like character voice. I think it helps, or it's helping me at least because it allows me to read more, read quicker um, and all that sort of stuff. I think if I was like jumping from I Heart New York and jumping to Illuminate, like having two completely different books, might have slowed down my reading pace a little bit. So yeah, I'm glad I'm reading the trilogy. I think it's worked out quite well for me. So yeah, on to a book three now. Let's see how the trilogy wraps up because I cannot remember. <laughs> it's now nap time. Only for 20 minutes, just to refresh myself. For some reason, it doesn't really feel like a 24 hour readathon. I think that's because I'm live with friends. I haven't done a 24 hour readathon live with friends before. Not that I'm complaining, I'm loving it, but it doesn't feel like a 24 hour readathon. But yeah, time to nap to reboost my energy. So we've just come off the live with Chloe. We were live for six hours in the end from 10 till four. Um, yeah, it was so much fun. I got one book completely finished, started and finished, and um, I got 50 pages into the third book of the trilogy. And I also had a nap in one of the sprints, so I would call it successful and productive. But it's now quarter past four. I'm going to chill out for a little bit. I'm, I'm wary of getting into a YouTube hole, but I'm probably just going to watch one YouTube video and then I'm going to try and conquer the rest of the third book. Um, I have 250 pages left of that, so hopefully I can get it done before Chloe goes live again at seven uh, with Molly, Rhiannon, Emily, I think are the definites. 
so I'll be in the comments for that one. Basically the main goal today now is just to finish the trilogy and get the next 250 pages read of the third book in the trilogy. However, if for some miracle I finish that and I still want to read more, I'm just gonna completely switch it up and start Illumine, which is obviously a YA, a YA sci-fi. Um, reading three contemporaries back to back, I think I need a break from contemporary. So if I do fancy reading more, I will conquer this one. But yeah, we'll just see how it goes. Um, but so far I've had a really, really chill day, really, really fun to just chat with my friends and read as much as possible. And I was saying on the live, because this trilogy, all three of the books are set within six week, a six week period, you kind of need to read them back to back because the first book will end and then the next day is the first page of the second book and so on and so forth. So it's a very tightly packed trilogy. Basically it probably could have been like one book, but the author kind of split it up into three. Um, it's not bad we split up the pacing all throughout all three is really good um it's just yeah they're so compactly written that you kind of need to just binge them back to back and it's also made me feel less guilty because they weren't on my tbr and i don't know when i would have got around to them if i hadn't had this like 24 hour period to read them because they're not kind of like a priority they're just something i wanted to reread and just knowing that they're only going to take a day to read and they're not really affecting the rest of my tbr or the rest of my reading plans for the year um, or even the month, it's really kind of made me feel less guilty about that, which is really nice. And I've just had a chill day reading a trilogy, which has been actually really like calming and nice and just, yeah. <laughs> I think I'll take off my makeup though, because I'm not gonna be live on camera for any more of the day. And yeah, just see where we get up to. I'll keep you posted, but yeah, I'm feeling good. Not too tired actually now. So I think I've come over my wall. I had hit a wall where I was just really, really tired. Um, I think I've surpassed that now, which is good. So yeah, conquering the third book and we'll see where we get to after that. did it yay i finished an entire trilogy in 24 hours i just finished on the second sprint i finished the third book in the breaking series by tracy puckett it wasn't the biggest series it was a 250 page book a 225 page book and a 300 page book so it wasn't like loads to read but it's still a decent amount seeing as i have slept for six hours and i've done other things i went live obviously so you're not like constantly reading you're chatting in between etc. I'm I'm proud of myself to say that I'd finished an entire series in one day. Um it was a decent series. I rated the first two books three stars and the last book four stars just because I do enjoy the characters and I liked how they ended up. So yeah, I'm happy I reread it. It wasn't kind of like a disaster like I thought it was gonna be having reread it. But yeah, I will update you in the morning with my full thoughts and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna go back live with Chloe and Molly that was now. So polite, just... Hi guys, I'm quickly here to wrap up this this 24 hour readathon vlog. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. I managed to read three books in total, an entire trilogy. I'm so, so proud of myself. I managed to read the entire Breaking series by Tracy Puckett. I enjoyed it. It was nothing incredibly special, but it was a fun, enjoyable read and I really, really enjoyed my time. So thank you so much to Chloe for hosting it and letting me be on the daytime sprints that lasted six hours. So I've broken my record for being live. I can't believe I was live for six hours. That was mental, but I had such a fun time during the readathon. So thank you to Chloe for hosting. I read a total of 775 pages yesterday and yeah, it was just a really, really fun readathon. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a massive thumbs up. Subscribe down below to see more content from me, from book hauls, reading vlogs, TBR games, and everything in between. I have it all on this channel, so make sure you're subscribed so you never miss a thing. And without further ado, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.